I'm gonna go back to um, when you're competing. So you tore your Achilles what year? Uh, this year, the 2019. 2019. In February. <laughs> I remember that. That was that was, that yeah, was, it was rough. Yeah. It was rough. But I knew it was gonna happen, so it was cool. What do you mean you knew it was gonna happen? Yeah, you know, you know, no. no. <laughs> Achilles is like one of those things that just comes randomly. Well, my first one did. It, the day it happened, I was like, oh, wow. The first, okay, maybe I'm thinking of the first one. The day. first one was like random. The second one. The first one, what year was that one? 2017. So that was before your fourth year. Yes. That's the one I'm thinking yeah. of. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, that's the one. Right? Yeah. And but you knew this one? This and one, the second one I knew. Because okay. I started having Achilles pain like a month before it happened, month and a half. Oh. And every day after practice, I'd go into the training and be like, ah, Achilles is still there, so let's keep going. Dude. But yeah, it was, it was super painful. Like, I couldn't walk upstairs. Like, walking in class was tough. Okay. So you knew it was, like, so, it was yeah, time? I knew. And, um, and I wanted to kind of hold out until, like, we competed against ASU because my little sister mm -hmm. was on the ASU team and I wanted to compete against oh, her. And, like, yeah. Kind of, like, the last time. Because I kind of was like, ah. It's gonna be like the last time. I'm honest. <laughs> as sad as that sounds, but like, yeah. yeah. How do you Dang. stay positive through that? Because this is different because you knew. I'm um, staying positive throughout that experience was, I don't know, I just knew my, I knew myself, I knew my gymnastics career was great and I had no regrets going into my fifth year. That's really I was really there mm -hmm. for the people coming in, the freshmen. They looked to me and I was like, you know what, guys? Enjoy this experience. You don't get it again. You guys know. You don't get yeah, it. It goes by and you don't it get it again. It goes by so quick. So I just wanted to enjoy every meet, my last experience, and my last opportunities. And so going through it, it was honestly a relief to tear my Achilles because I was like, finally, like I can stop being in pain. And like, mm. you know what I mean? Because I was just every day. Just, That's like, an interesting way to think. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Because like walking, I couldn't even like walk. Driving sometimes, like it was like. Yeah. So oh, was it your right one? My right. Both one. times. Yeah. Oh, left and then right. Oh, oh. so you got. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Even. Did you feel pressured like because you knew you said you knew it was gonna happen like did you feel pressured that you had to keep on training? Honestly, Just, I kind of stopped training <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you have to you know, know what I mean? But like, no, it's not I, like I know. It's, yeah, it's like, I get it. it's, like, <laughs> it's like I didn't do floor for like a week and like competed Because <laughs> yeah. I just I was like I, I know I can do a floor routine <laughs> so yeah but see that wasn't me. Yeah. Like I had to train to really? be like, right. Yeah. But like you, there are some girls on our team. I was telling you, I was out day. Like they could not train and then whip out a 10 and I'd be like, <laughs> my endurance is down. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like it's just an interesting mindset. You know when like people go through injuries, like yeah. do you tell the coaches like to stop? Like I like you know, like yeah. how did Yeah, the know, coaches knew and they were just like, you know, kind of just play by ear, like how do you feel? Like that's I'd true. show up to them and be like, yeah, I feel like floor today, or you know, okay. maybe we should like, yeah, that's, you know, what I mean, take it easy. That's good. So communication is key. Yeah, it was so important. It that's was good. so important. Just, I felt like they trusted you too yeah, because you were second one. <laughs> second second time. one. Your upper class. Oh, man. that is it's like your eighth surgery. Like, you, you got it. Mm. <laughs> In the moment it happened, it was really. I feel like my team was really upset. You know, in the moment, it was uh, it was upsetting in the moment, but I was like, guys, it's okay. Like, I'm yeah. grateful to have had this opportunity with you and yeah. and share these moments oh, with you. Nice. Yeah, I don't know if like anyone remembers the meet, but like, you kind of like everyone was crying and I, do I was in the it. back and like I was, <laughs> and everyone's like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and like eventually, I just was like, you know, forget this. Like, I crushed out and like it was right before Milan's last routine, and I was like, girl got this like just do Aww. this for the both of us your spirit your soul is up there for both of us so yeah it was a great moment and in that moment it was like my the worst moment that could have happened but like in the best of way best, best way because like I feel like I found myself as a leader and like I'm more That's than really a gymnast cool. I, I you know can offer more than gymnastics and like I can give wisdom and experience and I don't know well, that's cool that you can lead, like, by not yeah. doing gymnastics, too, and, like, yeah. even going through all that. It's, like, yeah. you still can, you know, you give so much positive yeah. energy. That's good. Yeah. That's so good. So powerful. <laughs> Two powerful women we have Show here. stop. <laughs> A lot of things that we talk about when I was in college is having our why, like, why we do gymnastics, why we come in every day, and why we do what we do. And something that's important for me is the reason why I compete for Jamaica and, you know, is to provide opportunity for young kids to have gymnastics in Jamaica because there is no gymnastics in Jamaica really when I started and you know mot staying motivated to provide facilities for them and I've done leotard drives and I've done a lot of things to help kids have the same opportunities especially young girls who look like me 
and are from you know the background that I have don't get an opportunity to go to college or or compete in Olympics. So having that that why you know doing it for the people who can't is something that helps me get through the bad days and realize there's a bigger picture than just this one moment. That's so cool. I've I've never heard anyone. <laughs> we don't need to like answer that. any questions. <laughs> yeah. I've never heard anyone like answer yeah the question like that question like that that's really cool thank you wow i'm gonna, I'm gonna think no that was why. really that was yeah that you make me want to read that yeah because <laughs> <me too. laughs> most of them are just like the stereotypical like oh, like i want to stay positive be optimistic but that's like a really deep meaningful yeah. like think about true it. life no yeah thing. you gotta think about it i love that oh, that's cool that was a really great yeah. answer